Well, if I'm going to do my uh, annual Stanley Cup playoff predictions, might as well do the NBA playoff predictions while I'm here. So, yeah, once again, nothing too scientific, nothing too mathematical. We're just going in, we're taking our cursory observation of the teams, and we're playing it by ear. So, let's just do what we can, okay? We're, we're not trying to be anything remotely approaching statistical here. There's no hard science. There's no hard math. We're just going with pure gut instinct, and hopefully we'll be 100% accurate like we are most of the time. All right, so uh, we start on the East Coast or the West Coast. Um, all right, just to be different, we'll start with the East Coast. All right, so we got the number one ranked uh, Milwaukee Bucks. I don't know how that happened, but apparently it did. Taking on the Pistons. I think Bucks swept the regular season series, so I've got no reason to not go against the Bucks. I think they'll win it in five. All right, uh, then we got uh, Boston Celtics, Indiana Pacers, which if I'm not mistaken, I believe was a tied regular season series. Um, I don't know, I think it's going to be a pretty good matchup. I think it's going to go seven games, but I think eventually, down the clutch, Boston ended up getting this one. All right, 76ers against the Nets. Um, I don't know, I just got the 76ers in six. It's just... I think they're, they're a better offensive team overall. I don't think the Nets have enough gas in the tank to go the distance. Toronto against Orlando. Now, this one is interesting. I think uh, they split their regular season series. And I think Orlando is a lot deeper than most people will give them credit for. Of course, Toronto, I think, is the better overall team offensively and defensively. But I think the Magic's going to hang around there. I think they're going to make this a seven-game series. But eventually, Toronto makes it. And they went in seven. All right, West Coast. Golden State Warriors, their last uh, playoff season in Oakland, taking on the Clippers. Uh, I think the Golden State won the regular season series three to one. There's no real, you know, shocker here. I think uh, Golden State was just in five. There's no controversy there at all. Houston at Utah. Um, this one could be interesting. Um... Very evenly matched. I think uh, the Rockets have better star power on this one. I think they might have a little bit better offense. I don't know the Jazz. They are pretty fast. They're young. They're spry. You know what? I'm going to go with my first major upset, kind of, of the series. I'm going to go with the Jazz to win it in seven. Oklahoma City against Portland. Another very good matchup. And again, I'm going to go with a minor upset here. I think the Thunder ended up winning this one. I can't recall what the regular season series results were, but I just think uh, Thunder is a little bit quicker, more agile down the stretch. So I'm going to go with uh, the Thunder to win it in six. All right, so you're seeing a trend here. So we got the Denver Nuggets, number two team in the West, taking on the San Antonio Spurs. And I do believe their regular season series was two games apiece. You know what? I'm going to do it again. Call another upset. I'm going to go with the Spurs to win it. I think they win it in seven in what should be a fairly competitive little matchup. And uh, from there, we go to our, what do I call that? The, the semifinals? Yeah, semifinal round. Now, I'm going to stay with the West. Golden State against Utah. Okay, Utah, I think they're a good up-and-coming team. Give them a couple years, and they might actually get to the plateau. But it's not happening this season. I'm going to go with Golden State to win it in five. Pretty easily. No surprise there. Oklahoma City against San Antonio. Um, you know, this is going to be a tough one to decide. I think San Antonio plays better defensive basketball, but Oklahoma City, they got some pretty good offense. They they can take it down the stretch. So this one's really a pick em for me. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with defense versus offense. Uh... Okay, I'm going to go with offense. I'm going to go with Oklahoma City to win it in six. All right, Eastern semifinals. Milwaukee against Boston. I think uh should be a pretty good, entertaining little offensive series, but I think Milwaukee's just too stacked, too deep down the roster. They should win it in six. 76ers in Toronto. Again, I think it's going to be another seven-game series. A lot of good series matchups uh, so far in the 2019 playoffs. But I think, uh, again... Toronto, a little bit more uh, talented down the bench, up and down. I think they're better built for a long war of attrition. So I got them winning in seven. Which brings us to our conference finals. 
Over on the east, no surprise. Milwaukee and Toronto, pretty much everybody predicted this one. On the west, Golden State there, pretty much everyone expected. But I got Oklahoma City playing kind of the, uh, the Cinderella team, making it all the way to the conference finals here. So, stick with the east. I think it's going to be a pretty good series, but I think Milwaukee's just playing too well the entire season. Just no one's been able to kind of match up with their defense so far in the Eastern Conference. I think Toronto, they've had some really tough series. They're going to be sort of worn out at this point. So I'm going to go with Milwaukee to win it in six games. All right, over on the western side of the equation, Oklahoma City taking on Golden State. Well, Golden State is still Golden State, but I think Oklahoma City, they're going to make this one uh, entertaining. I think they're going to steal a game or two. They're going to put some pressure on. They're going to make the it seemed like the impossible upset is on the horizon. But ultimately, Golden State does what Golden State does. I got them winning it all in six. All right, so that gives us the most uh, controversial brass ball NBA Finals matchup I can think of. The number one seed taking on the number one seed. Yeah, I'm really going out on a limb here, aren't I? All right, so this one should be pretty entertaining. Uh, Golden State, of course, they are the 800-pound gorilla of the National Basketball Association. And with uh, LeBron James and company completely dissolved and out there uh, completely failing at everything they do. It looks like Milwaukee is the next uh, big juggernaut to come out of the Eastern Conference. Playing good offensive ball, good defensive ball. But, you know, the thing is, Milwaukee, as good as they are, they're still kind of an untested team compared to the, the core nucleus of Golden State, which has been around for five years, who's been this predicament time and time again. Under the uh, the big lights of the NBA Finals, I'm going to go with experience every time. And, of course, Steph Curry and company, they got plenty of experience. The Bucks got none. In fact, this is the first time the Bucks have actually been a good team since, like, what, 1973, 1977, something like that. So, I think it's going to be good. I think Milwaukee will go in there and they might get a game or two. But ultimately, this one is Golden State's to, to lose. And I think they're going to be winning this one. So, what do you know? The dynasty continues. I got Golden State winning. I've got them going by, well, not four to nothing. I don't know how this thing works. Scroll down. Um, whatever. Golden State, right there. They're going to win this one. I got them winning, uh, is, let's say, four games or two. So, nothing highly controversial there. Let's see if we can actually change that. No, we can't. Never mind. So, yeah. I'm going to keep playing with it. Nope. Yep, okay, there we go. We're going with Golden State. So, yeah, Golden State, they're my prediction. They're going to beat Milwaukee. I know, going out on a limb there, I'm taking the controversial, unorthodox pick of having the number one seed in the West be the number one seed in the East. I know, I'm, I'm a gutsy guy. I'm a risk taker. Wow. But anyway, that's kind of beside the point. Looks like there should be a lot of really good entertaining matchups on the docket. So, should be an entertaining spring, early summer. I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully, we get some good games. We get some game sevens. We get some stuff that's thrilling. And... I will be sticking around for parts of it. I'm not watching everything, but, you know, it's the only time that you're actually getting into basketball is during the NBA playoffs. So hopefully we've got some good ones coming up. So, yeah, that's, that's that.